Hello everybody and welcome to NC Real Estate's YouTube channel. I am so excited to have you over here again. This week we are going to be discussing why the right location isn't necessarily where you think it is. discussing this for a moment. The biggest problem that my clients have when they're trying to choose a property is location. Let me tell you this, if you buy a property in the wrong location, it is going to go so badly wrong for you because you're not going to get the tenants, you're not going to get the demand, so you're not going to get the rent. And also it could take so much longer to rent out your property, in which case you're going to be budgeting for huge void periods or if you've not budgeted for it, you're gonna be losing out on so much money every year, which actually you really need to be making. And honestly, this tip that I'm gonna give you today is so, so vital for running your property business and making sure it's profitable. And if you're starting to look at your property business after you've heard this tip and you think, oh my God, I've picked a property in the wrong location, then absolutely don't worry about it because I can help you out with that. So do get in contact with me after the video has finished. As investors, most people look to what other people are doing in the property market. They see that someone's buying, say, in Manchester or they're buying in Sheffield and they think, yeah, I'm going to get on that because it's cheap and I think I can buy something. And off they go. They don't ever see the property. They don't look at it and they just buy it. That is not okay because how do you know that there's demand in that area for your property? You don't because you've not done any research. You've just listened to hearsay from someone else who's decided to go and do it and you think they're going to be making a lot of money from it. And so you think, oh yeah, I'll spend, you know, 100, 150k on kind of a cheap property. I'll buy that. And yeah, definitely I'm going to get loads and loads of money from it. You're not, that is completely the wrong way of thinking about it. When you're buying a property, you need to be doing as much research as possible before you go out there and purchase something. Do not listen to what other people say to you. Yeah, you might have property sources who come to you and be like, yeah, I've got this really great deal, you know, these 12%, 15%, 18% yields that they talk to you about, and you'll be thinking, yes, guaranteed rental income, this sounds awesome. What happens when that guaranteed rental period is over? You get the property back and it is your job to let it. And if you don't know what the market's doing, you don't know if there's demand in your area, how do you know that you're going to get tenants? Again, you don't. Without doing the property research, you have no idea what's going on and whether you can let this for the foreseeable future. So here's what you need to start looking out for. Every time you go and buy another property, yes, pick an area you know, and listen to what other people are saying. If you think that you can get a good deal in a certain area, fabulous. But do not just buy anywhere. You need to be looking at places such as areas with good local schools, because obviously some local schools have really small catchment areas. I know for a fact in Putney where I live, the best primary school has a catchment area of 0.8 miles, which means that parents are paying through the nose to get themselves into a, the local area. You know, they'd even buy two bed flats for a four person family just to make sure that their kids are going to school. So have a look at schools because obviously you could get a premium on rent because people are going to come in and want to buy, want to live in that property. Have a look in the local area for hospitals as well because there's a lot of staff that work at hospitals as well as industrial estates, universities, not just for the students. You can get buy properties around universities for the people who work at universities. Your job as a landlord is to provide properties that people need. They need to live in it whether short term or for the longer term but you've got to provide something that they are willing to pay for. If you buy a property in the middle of nowhere with no transport links, with no access to local amenities, it is going to be so difficult for you to even let that out. I mean, I've had people come to me and say, Natasha, do you want to buy this HMO in back end Birmingham in some of the suburbs? No, I wouldn't want to buy that because there's no train station, there's no bus stop near it, there's no schools, there's no hospitals, there's no 
um, universities, there's no local shops, there is nothing. Why would I buy it there? Because I'm not going to get anybody really who wants to rent it off of me for market rent. If anybody does want to rent it out there, then they're going to try and knock me down because they know that there's not much demand for that area. So these are the things that you really want to be looking at. You also want to stomp the local ground because you need to know how many minutes it's going to take for your tenants to walk from your house to the local bus stop, to the local tube station, to the local train station. And if they can't walk, how long is it going to take them to drive? Where are they going to be able to park? How much is parking at, say, the local train station? You need to know all of this. And streets matter. You could buy on one street and think, oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to be able to get rent. But actually, no one will rent it from you because it's known as the bad area of town. And to check this out, usually what I do is I, ha I speak to taxi drivers. So when I'm going on l viewings, I jump in a taxi and I ask the taxi driver about the area. They are always so hot on it. They know what's going on and they will give you the advice about what locals are thinking. It's a really good tip because if you don't do that, then you don't know what's going on. If I haven't convinced you yet that you need to be going out and doing as much research as you possibly can about the local area and making sure that there's a demand for the things surrounding the property as well as your property, then here's one story of someone who made a massive success about location being key. Donald Trump's grandfather, Frederick Trump, he made such a success during the gold rush of buying properties around that area and giving local miners food and somewhere to stay. And that's where the empire began because he knew that there was demand for what his services that he was offering, and so he was always going to make money. Another thing that I've heard of, which is a real huge success story about demand, is, I don't know whether you know about it, but Hinkley Point has just been bought by Chinese and French investors. And someone that I know very, very, very well has just partnered with an Arab investor and they have bought a hotel next to Hinkley Point. Now if you google the area there is nothing there, it is just completely like away from everything. But they knew that there was going to be demand in the area from the Chinese and the French and guess what, they've pre-let it so that when the workers come over here, you know the top dogs, they come over here and they have a look at what's going on, they have somewhere to stay. How amazing is that? So you need to be in with where people want to live. You don't want to be buying somewhere where people might not really fancy it, but they're going to pay cheap rent. You want to be in the prime areas. And all of you that do serviced accommodation and furnished holiday lettings, this is more important than anything else. Because if there's not demand to visit the local area, for example, I've got a holiday letting in Bath. Fabulous, everybody wants to go and visit Bath, but if you've got it in somewhere that's like back of beyond horrible location, you're not going to get anybody staying with you, which is why you again need to be researching who wants to go and visit this place or who wants to live in this place and why would they want to live there and what kind of rent you can command for the fact that there's demand. So how are you going to do your research? Well, you need to first get on Google Maps and on Street View. It is so important because then you can Google where the property is and see exactly what's going on in the surrounding area. Once you're satisfied that that's the sort of area that you want to purchase in, then go and have a look at local schools. Research it. How good are they? Research the local amenities. What would bring people to the area that you want to buy in? And once you've done all this and you've convinced yourself and you know for sure that people are going to come and rent and want to live in the place that you are looking to buy, then go and have a look at the area. Do not trust other people. If you've not seen it, go and have a look at it. Satisfy yourself. Buying a house is huge. It's a hell of a lot of money and you do not want to get it wrong because you will be stung for sales fees, for capital gains, for additional expenses of having to sell and rebuy if you get it wrong and you cannot let out your property and it loses you money. So location is absolutely key and go and do your research. Do as much of it as possible. Really do your due diligence and make sure that you know exactly what the local area has to offer and that people want to live there. I cannot stress that enough. Now, 
If you're in any sort of situation where you don't know what to do, you don't know if an area is good enough, you don't know if you should be buying there, or you've got a property that really isn't doing anything for you because you, you did go out and buy in the wrong area, or it's kind of a changing area where you're not getting the rents anymore, get in contact with me because I can help you with that. My email address is natasha at ncrealestate.co.uk. I am going to put it all below underneath here. Don't struggle with it. Make sure that you're doing your research and make sure that you're satisfying yourself that you're buying a property that you can rent out at the market rent. You do not want to be dropping it and you don't want to be getting voids left, right and centre because that's where you start to lose money. So I say it again, go out and do your research because location is key and it will make you a huge property success. And if you can get there in there before other investors do and you find a new area, even better because you can make a lot from it. I wish you every success with going out and researching locations. And again, get in contact with me if you need any help. Now I want to hear from you. In the comments section below, put exactly what you look for in your next investment property. And if you want to get in contact with us at all, then email me natasha at ncrealestate.co.uk or head on over to www.ncrealestate.co.uk where we have all the information, tips and tricks you need to get started on your property investment journey.